Hey guys, it's Jackie here, and wow, it's been ages since I've actually done a talking series video. Uh, what? Uh, no, uh, it's been about three weeks since I last uploaded a video. I am really sorry for the unfrequent videos. I mean, infrequent, sorry, that's not even a word. Um, anyway, today I am just talking about, this is a random idea that can actually, weirdly came to me in the shower last night. Putting together the Persona multiverse, yes I say multiverse because obviously as you guys know there are multiple games in the series. There is Persona 2, Innocent Sin, and I forgot the um, Eternal Punishment, that's the other one. And Persona 3, uh, the original and FES with the answer, which is an epilogue. Persona 4, Persona 4 Golden, which is a re-release with extra story, and Persona 5, which I'm currently playing right now as I'm recording this. I just have the TV on mute, since obviously, you know, I'm recording. I was originally gonna listen to music, but then I just thought, why don't I just record this? And then there's obviously the game that just came out, Persona 5 Royal, and before anyone asks, no, I don't have it yet. I was thinking of buying it, but obviously, you know, it's full price at the moment, so obviously I can't buy it. And I'm only getting frequent payments, well, not so frequent payments, so obviously I don't have a lot of money, so I have to focus on my well-being over buying new games, and especially since I want to buy the Ultimate Bundle, which has all the DLC. I don't have the money because on the PlayStation Store it's about $160 right now. But yeah, random idea that was just coming to me in the shower randomly last night. I was randomly thinking about the links between Persona 3 and 5 dancing. Because as you guys probably know, if you guys have played Persona 3 and 5 dancing, I have finished both games, actually. And if you guys have done um, Futaba's and Fuka's social links, obviously they know the link, they find out that each other are there through like some digital thing or I don't actually remember how exactly they did it because I haven't played the games in a while because I have the games but I left the discs with in Sydney so... Obviously I can't play them right now, so the only games I've been able to play on my PlayStation is Persona 5, because I had the digital version. I also had the Japanese version, I've been playing, and Borderlands, and Pac-Man, and Apex Legends, which I also um, got on PlayStation, because my PC currently cannot handle Apex Legends. And... So I can't really show the clips of that, but, but basically they find links between each other and see their online names, which is Futaba's being Alibaba. Spoilers, by the way. Because um, her name that she puts with the Phantom Thieves, she's like, when she hacks into Joker's phone saying, hello, this is the, this is the person you know as Alibaba. And then... Fruka, her persona being Lucia, and then obviously changing to, uh, I forgot what persona her persona evolves into, but basically her online name is apparently Lucia, same as her persona Lucia, even though um, um, Futaba's name is Oracle, I forgot what her persona was. Even though her name is Oracle, her online name is still apparently Alibaba. I don't know why. And Fuka being Lucia. If you do those social links, they can obviously find links between each other. Yeah, and the games are also canon, but obviously, as they said in the games, they don't remember it as they wake up and it's only a dream. But they still try to make themselves remember and put the games into real and put the events into reality. And obviously, with the whole Persona Q and Q2, same thing, they more so meet each other in the Persona Q and Q2 games. But also, again, when they come back to their realities, they don't remember each other. So, trying to get links between that, and obviously, 
as you guys probably know, the events of Persona 3 happen in 2009, and then Persona 4 in 2011. Um, Persona 4 in 2011, and 2012, then the year after and that, um, so the events of Persona 4 Arena and Arena Ultimax happen. And then, obviously at the end of the both games, Persona 3, 4, and 5, that's when the dancing games happen. And then Persona 5 actually happens at 20XX, it's no determined year, so no one can really figure out how many years after Persona 5, Persona 4 actually happens, so we cannot determine that, but basically my theory was it could happen at least two years after Persona 4, but also that would hap it would then it would also happen a year after Persona 4 Arena and Arena Ultimax, so obviously I put that theory in the drain. So, yeah, I'm sorry for all the rambling, and if this background footage isn't actually Persona, I'm sorry. It could be Borderlands, or I might have to get all footage of me playing Persona. I don't know yet, because I haven't been editing the video yet, but we'll see how shit goes. Anyway, I probably won't be doing any videos, because I'll be going back to school soon. So I will see you guys whenever I do a video next. Bye!